Hey everybody, back with another video. This is Jill Jackson's granddaughter was stabbed seven times by her white neighbor. Alright, and this article is from June 3rd, 2020. Um, Jill Jackson's granddaughter was stabbed seven times by her neighbor. Now, I don't know why her neighbor would do such thing like this. But there is a couple of pictures that are graphic just to warn you um of her being cut up in that or because of her neighbor had stabbed her jill jackson's granddaughter yasmin jackson was stabbed seven times by a white neighbor page six reports yes yeah, so this page six has reports that jill's granddaughter yasmin was stabbed seven times by a white neighbor. On Sunday, the 25-year-old Jackson posted photos of her face and neck wounds on Instagram. Jackson said the woman who is her neighbor started chasing her and stabbing her behind because she's a... I can't say that word, but you'll get the idea with that word I can't say. All right, so Miss Jackson is 25 years old. Um, she's posted photos of her face and neck on Instagram. Um, this is what Jackson said. The woman who is her neighbor started chasing her and stabbing her because she's a, you know what, I can't say that word, but you get the idea what men call their friends and that, but that word I can't say. Jackson, who was attacked near her Vegas apartment complex, says she couldn't move her neck and is thankful for the people who jumped to her rescue. I pray to God that if you have any kind of hatred in your heart towards black people, that you'll heal it. Jackson's caption read, I didn't deserve this. Nobody does. Oh, and by the way, I'm still, you know what, proud to be black. Now, now the profanity words, I am skipping them because then you get the idea of what I'm, what I mean. But I'm not gonna sit up here and say these words, and then everybody's gonna come attack me and say, "Oh, you're you you have hate in your heart." Baba, no, I don't. I just refuse to say these words because I'm a Christian and I am not going to say these words in a video then have YouTube come after me and take my video down? Uh, no thanks. Alright, the first picture I'm going to show you is a warning that it is graphic of what this girl went through. She's 25 years old. Now remember, her neighbor had did this to her. So here is what her face looked like and her neck and everything. Do a quick bypass on that. According to Jax's post, the woman was initially charged with felony battery with a deadly weapon. But Jackson updated the captions to say her attacker was booked for attempted murder, battery with a deadly weapon, and a hate crime. The preliminary hearing is scheduled for this month. Yes, yeah, so the neighbor who did this has a hearing sometime this month in June. I just don't know what day, but I will keep an eye out for it for this woman who stabbed Yasmin Jackson for, for no reason at all. I mean, Yasmin Jackson has done nothing to nobody, and this is Joe Jackson's granddaughter Jackson is reportedly the daughter of Giovanni Jackson the love child of Joe Jackson and Cheryl Terrell Giovanni wrote about her relationship with the Jackson family Partridge in her book Bastard Child I know that ain't my doing that's the book name the book yeah, so Jackson is reportedly, is reportedly the daughter of Giovanni 
Jackson. Um, she's the love child of Joe Jackson and Cheryl Terrell. Uh, so that's who she is. Giovanni also posted her daughter's injuries on Instagram. My daughter has a good heart and has dedicated her time as a nurse to help others. She did not deserve this, the concerned mother wrote. All right, so the 25-year-old, she's a nurse. So I do. So that means she works in a hospital or a nursing home, whichever one it is. Um, Giovanni is her mother. Her mother, um, also, she posted her daughter's injuries on Instagram as well. My, and she also says, my daughter has a good heart and has dedicated her time uh -huh. as a nurse to help others. So that means she could be working in the hospital, the nursing uh -huh. home, or she could do uh -huh. home health care, whichever one it is. So it all depends on which one of the three she has. Next photo I'm going to show you, just a warning, it's graphic, so viewer discretion is advised. And here is Giovanni's um, Instagram of posting the injuries of her daughter. On Jax's GoFundMe page, she admitted that the incident has left me extremely traumatized and I plan on breaking my lease and moving out of those apartments until I'm mentally prepared enough uh, uh. to move on my own again. Jackson's grandfather passed away from pancreatic cancer in 2018. Yes, yeah, so there is a Jackson's GoFundMe page. She admitted that the incident has left her extremely traumatized um and it, she also says i plan on breaking my lease and moving out of those uh, apartments uh, until i'm mentally prepared enough to move on my own again so she's gonna move out i don't know how long the lease is for but she's had enough of this and she doesn't want to be hurt anymore after what her neighbor did to her so, and um, I don't know why she don't talk to the landlord about it, because I, I, I don't know. She should have said something to the landlord, saying, oh, this woman did this to me, this, and, and everything. And um, the landlord would have took care of it, but instead uh -huh. she wants to break the lease and say, goodbye. She wants to move out of those apartments. Of course, Joe Jackson, he died in 2018 from pancreatic cancer so that is the most horrifying thing to ever happen to someone um with that so my prayers are with yasmin jackson may she heal by the hands of god and may she have peace in her heart as well leave your comments below i am out